Hi guys, welcome back to Cydonia. This is Season 2, Episode 7. And as you can see, I'm in my spawn house, and here we have the first kitty cat on the server. I have no clue what I'm going to name it yet. And then this is the second one. Poor noob. Anyways, today I think I'm going to actually go out and look for um, a couple dogs. I've got a stack of bones. And let's see, um... I need to take anything else with me. I don't think so. I'm also gonna try to head out to the Mega Taiga because, um, some people would like some of the pods oil, and I think I'm the only one who has silk touch at the moment. So I'm actually going to walk out there as well, because, well, no, maybe not. Dogs aren't going to be as fiddly as cats. Cats are fiddly because in the jungle it's hard to ride a horse. I almost lost my horse in the jungle because he got off the lead and um, I couldn't find him. It, but he climbed up on top of a tree. But I climbed up on top of a tree and I found him and all is well. But anyway, to the north east, I believe it is. Yes. But we're going to have to go around. Northeast is where I found the Mega Taiga. It's kind of far, so I may actually cut some of this out. I am not having much luck today with um, horses. I actually dently shot Thunder. I was trying to bring this horse back to spawn. I accidentally shot Thunder with my own arrow. I was trying, um, I don't know how much health this one has left because. Uh, I guess it's alright. Well, I was trying to just get the health back up on the dogs and ended up. Oh, I didn't bring. Oh, darn. I guess I'm going to have to use a shovel. I want ice. Alright. Let's see. You. You. And where's the baby? Well, I can only hope that we don't end up having to go through any, um, water because that's going to be a bad thing. Okay, let's see. Which direction am I supposed to be going now? I'm trying to head back to spawn because... Whoa! Don't push me off! Well, basically, I can't handle, couldn't handle the two dogs plus the horse and everything, and still, I got lost. I think I recognize sort of where I am now, though. And what I'll do is I'll try again. I'm going to get these dogs back to spawn. I'm going to leave them behind, and then I'll try again. Okay, guys, we're back. Um... I'm still going to head on out for the pods oil. I think I'm not going to ride the horse this time though. I got my ho my um, dogs all back here. I left this one here. I've got several more now. I've bred them a couple times. I wanted to show you something before I headed out towards the Mega Taiga again. Over here where Midget's little bit of a temporary base was, we've got he had created a YOLO swag tree and it was driving me up a wall. And the other day I was gonna I was gonna burn it down or do something with it and Jay got beat me to it, so I destroyed what was left of it and I um I um gave him an upside down anti YOLO swag tree. The anti YOLO swag tree. How <laughs> that was hilarious. 
And then we had a little bit of a duel. That was pretty funny, too. He was right here. Where'd he go? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it does. We got another rack here somewhere. I believe this is still up here. Yeah, got an upside down tree for him. Too bad you couldn't put grass up there and have it upside down. Oh, well, I don't know where he went. Don't matter, I guess. Oh, there he is. I'll have to prank him again on camera. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I gave up on looking for the Mega Tyaga for now. I'm gonna contact um Fox later. I gave her the cords for it the last time I found it because she wants to live there, and I'll I'll just ask her if she can just give me back the cords. I've been working on this area here. This section of my base is going to be my auto furnaces, so there's going to be two sets. All you'll see here are the chests. There'll be a chest there and a chest there, but then there'll be a sideways chest. And then um, you'll put the stuff that you want to smelt in the top, the fuel in the middle, and you'll get the stuff back in the bottom here. And I've, I'm going to do uh, eight furnaces per set. But I think I'm going to have to do most of that off camera because I'm going to be actually watching the video, doing a little bit of it, watching the video, doing a little bit of it, and so forth. But I think we'll do some prep work here. I need to actually make some hoppers. I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need. But we're going to start, we're going to use this jungle wood. I was um, in the jungle looking for cats, and somebody's been chopping down the large jungle trees and not bothering to chop them down all the way. And it just kind of annoys me. So basically, I was chopping the trees down that other people hadn't finished. But, oh well. Some people are like that. I'm not one of them. Let's see. Um, This is a lot of iron. Let's see. Um... I think I'm going to need a few more. I think that should actually do it. It may, it may not. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, that, that's a lot of iron to use up. I've got three more stacks cooking up as well. But still, that's a lot of iron. Let's see. I need to make... Um some droppers and some hoppers probably so we'll go down and collect up some of the bows I've been actually combining we'll um, go ahead and make droppers and hoppers so there should be quite a few bows here No, we need is a little bit of redstone, which I have plenty of. Probably need to go back into the caves around my area and actually light them up more. There's still some zombie noises. I'm going to have to build a zombie grinder later on, too. There's a zombie spawner. I refound it, and then I derp towered out of it, and I found out where it was. And it's basically right above my 
right, well, not right above, but it's very close to my house. So, which is really convenient. Okay, that should be enough. Let's try to get them back in the chest, though. Alright. That should be more than I need there. Let's go ahead and get as many of these as I can get for however many bows I have. I'll use them later, no matter what. I don't mind using these bows for this because they're basically free. All I have to do is um, stand at the skeleton grinder and hit the skeletons and get my XP and I get lots of free loot. Alright, we got that and that. Okay, let's make... Let's get a little bit more of this. I'm probably going to need to go out and get a little bit more wood gathering done. Let's see. Because, um, I'm probably going to need some more. I've been using quite a lot. Um, let's see, redstone again. And another stack of iron. Yeah, I'm going to make a whole stack of... Pistons, probably half of them will stay normal and half will be made sticky. That's not something I'm going to run out of anytime soon either. Not with living right next to a swamp. Okay, the next thing I think I ought to do is... Make some repeaters. And let's see, I need some sticks. whole stack of that. We're going to make about a half a stack, I think, of torches. Let's see, we need to make some comparators. Um, let's see, you need this remember how to make those. I've only made them like maybe once or twice. I also want to make some um, daylight sensors. Let's see, I've got redstone. Let's see, I don't know if it takes smooth stone or cobble. I think, I think the, um, I think the Daylight sensor actually takes wood, though. And possibly even these. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Now the other one, I think it's something like this. And then maybe this? No. I do think it's torches, but I think it's smooth stone on the bottom, possibly. Yeah. Which means I'm going to need to make more. Torches. Alright, that should be enough of those to last me a while. Let's see, anything else? Could make a few more of these. Alright, I think I've got everything I need to start this. We'll see. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and go off and do it. I'm going to cook some more glass. I'm actually running really low. But I will see you when I've got the first one pretty much done. Hopefully. So, see you later. Alrighty, I think I've got one side done. Um, I've been following the tutorial and I'm going to try to rebuild the other one on the other side without having to follow so much. It's very, very, I mean the area I built this for turned out to be exactly the right size. Which, I guess that makes sense because I was actually trying to make sure that it would turn out the right size. And I think I've got it done right. The only thing now to do now is to actually test it and see if I have. So I'm going to get a stack of coal and a stack of cobble. I think that'll do a good enough job for testing. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and take that back out so that I can come down here and make sure it's doing right. So we got the that, and we got that, and now let's go down here and they should all come on at exactly the same time. Oops. Okay, so some stuff was stuck. I guess I should check that first. I think it's working. I think the, the what the problem was was that the redstone blocks that I had dropped had gotten stuck in there. But I think it, it looks like it's working properly now. Let's see, I'm gonna make sure some I got some more lighting in here. Because I'm going to leave this where I can get back into it if I need to, like, fix it or something. But other than that, I think it's done. I have to fix this. Um, I have an idea.
There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, that's perfect. Now all I have to do is, well, they're all done. So I'll put some signs up later, maybe. I don't really know if I really need to or not. But that turned out pretty good. It used a lot more hoppers than I expected it to. But that means I'm just going to have to make more. Let's see, I had made um, 56, I believe it was. So I think I used, like, oh, I don't know. I just know I'm going to have to make more hoppers. Which means I'm going to need to actually do some more iron mining, possibly. But I think that's going to cover this episode. I don't know. I'm going to do this one probably off camera as well. Um, I'm going to try to link the tutorial I'm using for this. I never seem to remember these things, but I'm going to try to remember it this time. So, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like it if you like it. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye!